Morning, fellas. Uh, about seven o'clock here today. Getting ready to do this real quick here. Uh, people had asked me about a Tanto blade as far as sharpening. I know I did a video on the Mora. Um, I hadn't done really a video on this knife yet. This is one my wife got me a while back. It's a uh, Smith and Wesson Guide Master, but it is a uh, Tanto blade. It looks a lot like the Cold Steel GI Tanto, I believe they call it. Almost identical shape. The only difference being this has a cord wrapped handle. Um, it comes with, I guess, what Smith & Wesson calls an edge. It uh, won't cut paper. It might cut a, a person. It might cut skin, but got a Zaxby's receipt here. It's just kind of rolling it out the way. I don't know if it'll take a good edge, but it'll be good enough for demonstrating. I've got my Smith Trihune here. Got your coarse, medium, and fine stones. I've got my Norton stone here, which is a, a 1,000 grit stone, I believe. And I've got a little squirt bottle here with just a little weak mixture of simple green. Um, I said I use this instead of oil just because I don't want to put anything on my blade and I've just got everything on a little bit of this non-slip pad here like you'd line your toolboxes with just to keep it from sliding around and then a little uh, rag just to wipe things down with as I go along and then I'll show you uh, some stropping probably make that a part two video um, how I strop my knives and stuff so let's get started on this real quick um, a Tanto blade, I know it's a different blade design as far as the shape and all, and people, they look at them and they say, well, you know, it's got to be hard, it's got to be hard, but really, you're doing the same thing with a, with a Tanto as you're doing with any blade. You're just sharpening up the edge. The only difference is you've got the secondary point. Now, there's a few different ways you can sharpen this with that secondary point. What I'll do is I'll start with my main, this end blade here, and uh, try to see if I can keep this out of the, keep my arms and all out of the way. I'll make a few passes with this end, and this the reason why I like these little bit bigger stones is because I can fit the whole, the whole end blade or the primary point. I can fit it on there all at one time and then I can flip it over to here to the left hand side and we'll give that a feel most of my knife sharpening is done by feel more than anything I can I can feel the edge and know about what's going on with it. Make it look a lot better. Alright, that's pretty good on that. Now after you've got your uh, initial sharpening on your primary edge here, then I usually start just at this point. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but a, a Tanto blade has uh, an angle to it here and then it angles back down again straight here which gives you the secondary point and what that's what in my opinion makes a tanto just such a good defensive weapon is you've got this thin point on the end which will penetrate and start spreading the skin and cutting as it goes then you've got this secondary point so that if you did a slash cut you're you're driving that point into somebody even in just a slashing mode and that helps open them up get them going a lot quicker but I'll take that that uh, secondary point and just start right there at the end of it and little by little I'll increase until I'm down to the full piece of the blade And just turn it over and inspect and you can see 
and I'm sure you can't on camera, but you can see when you start doing this where these two edges intersect forms that point. If you ever if you ever get a little bit too aggressive with it going this way and you take some of that point off, just go back to the tip piece and just give it a couple of swipes. and that'll form that point back for you automatically. Um, a lot of times I'll finish with the, the, the edge blade with the tip blade so that I can get that little bit of point back there. Um, you can see I poke myself with my blade. Yeah, I know. Um, and just like with your Mora, it's all about just maintaining the, the angle that you're putting it on um, and that angle depends entirely on what you're going to do with the blade what your intended use is for it you know if you're using this for heavy chopping uh, any you know abusive work batoning stuff like that you can get it sharp and not have it, you know, razor blade thin on the edge, and it'll hold up to that for a long time. Um, I'll get a, a piece of paper here near the end of this video and show you just what I'm talking about here. Let me just uh, get a few stripes on this thing. How my points looking? Yeah, it's looking pretty good there. All I'm doing is feeling this edge until I can feel that little that little piece of wire, that little abrasiveness to it, and uh, getting as much of that off as I can. That don't feel too bad. 